local news show for nine years and counting, The O'Reilly Factor. Thanks, Sam Willis and Bill O'Reilly. In the Factor follow-up segment tonight, last spring, we did a segment on how the late-night comedians were going easy on Barack Obama. And a former writer for Jay Leno, Buddy Winston, predicted that would not last, that the comedians would soon begin mocking the president. Well, Mr. Winston was correct. Category tonight, top 10 signs Barack Obama's getting nervous. And who, who could blame him? Top 10 signs, you get nervous. Here we go, number 10. New slogan, yes we can, or maybe not, it's hard to say. Trying to sum up President Obama's first 11 months in office, he gave billions to Wall Street, cracked down on illegal immigrants getting health care, sending 30,000 more troops to Afghanistan. You know something? He may go down in history as our greatest Republican president ever. <laughs> Police in Texas seized a shipment of ecstasy pills this week that were shaped like President Obama's face. The drug is characterized by a brief, powerful high followed by a long, slow come down. <laughs> Obama said today he will attend the ceremony in Oslo if he's not too busy with the two wars he's conducting. So, <laughs> remember, he's not your boyfriend. He's the president, yes. The public option, whether we have it or we don't have it, is not the entirety of health care reform. Did you hear that, dude? It's Wait a second, what did you just say? <laughs> the public option, whether we have it or we don't have it, No public option? We still get to kill old people though, right? <laughs> Mr. President, I can't tell if you're a Jedi, 10 steps ahead of everything, <laughs> or if this whole healthcare thing is kicking your <laughs> just a little bit. Why is this so hard? He's sending 30,000 more troops to Afghanistan. Right now in Scandinavia, the Nobel Committee is really rethinking the whole peace prize thing. <laughs> Is it too late to give it to Bono? Because I'm thinking, man. <laughs> the number one sign Obama's getting nervous. He demanded a recount. Can you believe that? Joining us now from Los Angeles is the aforementioned Buddy Winston. What is the difference between, <laughs> and again, you were correct in predicting what would happen. What is the difference between Thank what you, Bill. President Obama is getting now and what George W. Bush got for the second term? I mean, all through the second term. Well, first, I'd like to thank you for having me back on the show and also say that's a little unsettling how happy you guys are at Fox that a liberal guy like me was correct. Um, <laughs> you're probably we're, showing that listen, Obama we, mockery loop in the lobby. We're, but, we're, um, wait, 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 wait. We like people who are smart. We don't care if they're a far <laughs> left guy like you um, or, or just a regular human being. Go ahead. I will take that as a compliment, Bill. Well, the difference is, the, the difference is with uh, Bush and Obama is that I think they were, Bush got, was ridiculed and Obama is being taken to task right now. You know, there's not a lot of things that are running gags with Obama. I mean, backpedaling on the public option. I mean, I, say what you want about health care in America. But where else in the world can you get free antibiotics by, by drinking the milk and eating the chicken? I mean, come on. I mean, we've got it. All right. So that's an interesting point. So the, the comedians late night, when they targeted President Bush, were targeting him to ridicule and demean him. Whereas with Obama, they're kind of disappointed in what he's doing. So they're, they're sticking him like Mar, you know, they're sticking them. Well, you got to remember, Bill, the, the floodgates aren't open yet. No, you know, that's true. I mean, this is this is just at the beginning, you know, and now sort of the veil's been lifted. Now people are making fun of him, which is the beginning of it all. But, you know, like the whole um, Nobel Peace Prize thing, that was more ironic than shocking. Sarah Palin went in the Pulitzer Prize. Now, that would be shocking. I think that would get a little more mileage, you know. OK, and the, you know, people think that Obama kind of comprehends the gravity of his decisions more than Bush. For instance, you know, when well, I Obama think he's smarter would say, than Bush. But but look, would you say and I don't know how many of these guys, you know, personally, um, but let's run them down. Um, OK, David Letterman, left winger. Jay Leno leans left, but more of a centrist. Um, okay. O'Brien, you know, leans left. Not too bad. Uh, Kimmel, right. uh, Ferguson, all these guys, they all kind of lean left. The, the one that's really, really a left winger is Marr and then Stewart. Marr and Stewart, um, probably the most out there on the left. But you don't have any conservative right. right comedians at all. You don't have anybody who might get a little indignant about yeah, but, you a $12 know, we, we trillion just, dollar deficit, you know? 
Yeah, but you know what? We discussed that. The, the, the whole idea of the, the late night comedy is not to take people to task. It, it's comic relief. You know, I mean, and the landscape has changed. I mean, uh, Jay's gone through Leno pause right now where he's got the, the lower pause. ratings. I mean, all he has to say right now is um, Obama was on top and now he's got low ratings. Welcome to the club. I mean, yeah, but I got to tell you, what, you're right about Leno, uh, but you're wrong about Letterman and uh, Stewart. I mean, these guys are on a mission. Uh, I've been on Letterman a number of times and he brings in. <laughs> The heavy artillery. I mean, he wants to make political points. He's not doing it just. Yeah, for but you know what? For instance, Letterman made fun of those people that crashed the state dinner. You know, and tell me, Bill. I mean, isn't it true when you talk about people that can't keep, don't have good security for White House dinner? Aren't you also saying that maybe the country isn't secure? Maybe they can't secure the country. <laughs> I mean, it's breaking down a little, Bill. But right. I will say that those that couple probably still has an easier time getting past White House security than you do, Bill. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm going down there tomorrow, Mr. Winston. Thanks very Are much. You really? We appreciate so, it. Maybe. I am indeed. We'll have a big report on it on Wednesday.